Your mantra again is read it before you eat it. Those little numbers on the label should be the first place you look when choosing milk or an alternative. Mass General Dietitian Debbie Kravitsky says you want to watch saturated fat, which can raise levels of LDL, or the bad cholesterol. They cause your arterial walls to stiffen. It's going to put more pressure on your heart to pump through a stiffer opening. It's going to increase your risk for heart disease. Kravitsky recommends dairy and says to stick with 1%. Make sure there's no more than 2 grams of saturated fat per serving. Don't not eat milk because you're concerned about the fat. Just get a lower fat milk because the nutrients in milk are protective for your heart and, and it's a wonderful choice to include. I call it a super food. If dairy bothers you, Kravitsky says soy milk is a good alternative. There's no saturated fat and it contains a good amount of protein, but stick with unsweetened or check the sugar per serving with this quick calculation. If you take the grams of sugar and you divide by four, uh -huh. that will tell you the number of teaspoons. So you know every time you get, you drink a cup of this, it's the equivalent of me adding four teaspoons of sugar to your drink. Almond and coconut milk are Kravitsky's last choices. They don't provide much protein. And coconut milk in particular is high in saturated fat per serving. So this is an indulgent beverage, um, not all the time. The bottom line, Kravitsky says start with your health concerns and pick the choice that fits your needs. And make sure that you like it, that it tastes good to you. Also, of course, it should fit into your budget. Emily Reamer, WCVB, News Center 5.